What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I want to show you guys how to go into safe mode and actually uh, fix your issue if you're experiencing an issue with your PlayStation 4 or recently with the PlayStation messages. Um, there has been a message that's been going around to a lot of PlayStation Network users that brick your console. This is how you fix it. So you're going to go into safe mode. How you go into safe mode is make sure your PlayStation 4 is off completely. Once your PlayStation 4 is off completely, you're going to go ahead and press the power button and hold it until you hear a beep once you hear you'll hear an initial beep and then you'll hear another beep once that happens you're going to go into safe mode and as you guys are seeing on the screen right now my playstation 4 pro just went into safe mode i'm reaching down and i'm plugging in my playstation 4 controller you're gonna have to have a cord for this um and then once you're uh, once you turn on your PlayStation 4 controller, hook it up with a wire, you can actually go in and re rebuild database. Once you rebuild a database, your PlayStation 4 um, should be good, and it will basically delete the messages that are that are causing your PlayStation 4 to be bricked, or you know if you're having other issues with the PlayStation 4 and you can't um, update to the latest system software update. This should also be able to fix your problem. Um, it, it's gonna take uh, a few hours to do it, okay? Depending on how much stuff you have on your PlayStation 4, it's gonna take a few hours to do it. Um, once you start it, you can't stop, so um, make sure, you know, if you're gonna do this, um, you're not planning to do anything else. If your PlayStation 4 is bricked, obviously there's nothing else you can do at the moment. Um, but with this, um, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't need to. Um, but with that, you won't lose your game saves. You won't lose, um, you know, your games that you currently have downloaded. And you'll, you'll be okay. Um, it's basically going to erase the messages that you have, any notifications that you have. And basically... Um, kind of do a, a soft refresh of your PlayStation 4. Uh, a lot of people are getting uh, confused, especially with the PlayStation message bricking their console. Um, they're going and restoring default settings. They're, they're trying to update the system software. They're trying to initialize, uh, reinstall the system software. And if you guys initialize your PS4 or um, reinstall system software, uh, it's possibly gonna like delete everything off of your PlayStation 4. You'll have to download everything over again. And if you have game saves and it's not backed up on the PlayStation Plus um, cloud system, then you, you're possibly looking at losing absolutely everything. So I hope this helps somebody out there. I know a lot of people are going through this um, PlayStation message um, little scandal thing that's going on where um, they're, they're, people are like, what's actually happening is people are getting these messages where you get, uh, a couple of characters in this message and then it basically breaks your PlayStation 4. So that really sucks. I hope this information helped you guys out. Again, if you guys want to go into safe mode, as I stated in the very beginning of the video, make sure your PlayStation 4 is off. And then you're going to hold the power button until you, you hear the beep. Once you hear the beep, um, keep it on because it's going to go into safe mode. Um, once you're in safe mode, you can release your uh, finger off of the power button. Connect your PlayStation 4 controller with a USB. And then just do number five, rebuild database. Uh, go ahead and select it. And let me know if this helped you guys out at all. Uh, again, this is only for people that need to do this. You don't absolutely have to do this. I've heard that if you do rebuild the database, it makes your PlayStation 4 a little bit faster. So if uh, you're having experiences with like the PlayStation 4 bogging down or being a little bit slower, you can do this as well. But I only recommend it if you absolutely have to. Ladies and gentlemen, that's actually going to do it for me in this video. Make sure to hit a like. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, bell notification. Because I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4, PlayStation Plus news updates. All that good stuff so you don't have to. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking.